can't give a lie If I can make it If I try to draw the red light I could run through the fire I could can't give a lie If I can make it If I try to draw the red light Man. Oh God! <laughs> Bigfoot has decided to rear his oh, geez, Louise! What a mystery! What a mystery! Sophia Taylor tells us, trying to get everything to a respectable place here. Of course, my uh, stream deck is is acting up. But give me a second. That way I can do proper, proper stream decky things. Oh God, no! It's Wonder just, it's just, Clayton it's just all messed up. Tried and tested family bonding. Let me tell you, he never stops talking about the dude. Oh no! Guess we just don't have a stream deck today. <laughs> Anywho, here we are. Call the wild angler. Thankfully, it's not dark out. That would be a miserable stream, but it I'm might. Right here with the bargains. Sophia, shut up. Um, yeah, it's, God, I freaking hate that. Let's see the map. It's three o'clock, 3.30 in the afternoon. I, I figured, going to keep doing that. Going to keep doing that until they fix it. Um, I was thinking we kind of start with daily challenges, maybe. Maybe do some weekly challenges and at the same time search for some potential diamonds. See, I have the list here. I have the list of all the hooks that I can use. Um, a list of all the fish I've missed. Um, and we pretty much have the ability to catch diamond sunfish, bluegill, yellow perch, black crappie, and mountain whitefish. Potentially some of the smallmouth bass, kokanee salmon, sauger, and brook trout as well. But that's pretty much all we have a, the ability to catch at this, at this moment. We'll just have to see what we can catch today. 25 bluegill? You're out of your mind. No way, Jose. Who's in the chat, though? We got Louis Miguel, Dallas Johnson, Joey Mayer, David Unknown, Austin Gaming's in the house, Anime Kid, Gerald Bates, Pablo Escobar. Oh my goodness, Pablo Escobar back from the dead. 
felt a sneeze coming on. Thought I'd save you all. Uh, let's see. Glitz Young Crispy. Number 24, the biggest fish caught. Whoa. Whoa, man. After a year, you finally see us live. Top notch. How's your PC today? Last stream, you had some issues going on with it. You know? Yeah. I don't know. It just kind of acts up every once in a while. I hope it doesn't happen today. But we are just going to see what happens, I suppose. Um, what am I thinking today? What what should we do? What should we do? I'm thinking, actually. Let's run down and get in the boat. We're going to take the boat and uh, maybe go do some fun th stuff with that. I'm thinking. Off the top of my head. This is what I'm thinking. Of course I did. Of course I did. You got a 75 unique mirror car. Very nice, David. That's cool. Fix now. Same. Hopefully not... Hopefully not. Yeah, I hope so too. Look at that cast. That was a heck of a cast. It looks like you got a wound on your leg there. All right, let's get in the old iron heart. Iron heart. The lion heart. Let's see how loud this is on the stream. Sometimes boats can be really annoying to listen to. I do know that there's like pike over here next to this bridge too. So maybe it will catch some pike over here as well. So we got we got a bobber rod, which I haven't showed off. So it's in the third episode, I believe. Um, we got this rod. We could probably throw a little spinner bait, maybe, or we could switch to a frog. Maybe do a frog for some bass. Let's see, spinner bait. What would? We can look at the handbook real quick. Northern pike, jerk bait, spinner bait. So they do go after spinner baits. Okay. Well, maybe we'll just try that then. Try this with the old spinner bait. I saw some uh, some pike swimming through here. We'll see if we uh, can manage manage a few anyway shovel known sturgeon are a blast very true very true so glad you discovered the channel hey well i'm glad you did as well whoa there we go it would be cool when carver in this game it would be cool at this point what was his little small mouth we could really use a small mouth that's part of the challenge nice we need um the daily challenge says, gosh dang it, go away. The daily challenge says to catch two smallmouth. So that will do that. We only have one more to catch. One more to catch. It's a little two speed. A little two speed's all it takes. Your, your biggest catch so far is a diamond bourbon. Hey, really good, man. That's awesome. Got your first diamond today. It was a kokanee salmon. Ooh, Gage, you might have to tell us where you, uh, where you got it. We might have to go, uh, go uh, attempt that spot, man. Might have to go attempt that spot. I think we uh, should have opportunities to catch diamond kokanee salmon. That could be our, our, uh, first, our first diamond. Thanks to Gage, to be in in uh, in in history, in Call of the Wild, the angler history. Our first diamond we caught was thanks to Gage. The kokanee salmon would be neat. Joey, nice, 16.35 pounds. Sadly, haven't played fishing plant in a few months. I miss playing. By the way, you're the best. All oh, toast plays, showering me with uh with compliments my goodness well thank you thank you i don't know if i deserve it but i appreciate it all the same well i saw that small mouth jump but he didn't like it evidently toss it over here this is where we caught the last one try it over yonder I see bugs i see bugs flying my fishing planet vids have helped you out so much. Hey, right on, Crispy. Glad to hear it. You have to activate challenges? 
Do I? It said it was currently activated or something like that, and I didn't do anything. It's just that way already. Hey, there we go. That's our second one. It's a little tiny thing, but that should do it. Let's see. Let's find out. Oh, sure enough. See, it says active, and it's like bleeping. So I was very confused for a second. You're right, though. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. Now we just need to catch two more smallmouth. <laughs> Should we move spots? Let's uh, let's get back in the get back in the in the boat. Move move it along here. We've already interrupted these basses' day. Maybe we'll move over here and catch some more. We'll just have to see, have to see, shall we? It was only five pounds, so your setup should work. Hey, good deal. But where was it? Where was it? You'll have to show us on the map. I'll do a hot and cold sort of thing when we bring up the map and you tell us whereabouts it was. You thought this was Fishing Planet at first. What gave it away? The upgrade in graphics or the title that says Call of the Wild the Angler? Um, not happening here. I was gonna move this camera up because it's kind of bothering me. Kind of bothering me just a tad. Oh no, it's still not good enough. Still needs to go up a tad. Once everything's perfectly organized, I'll stop. What the heck was that? Once everything's perfectly organized. Come on, bass. Trying to complete a challenge here. You're liking right now. I can make it easier and join the game. Well, there you go. Easy hub, master fisher, and ants. How's it going? Thanks. Make me laugh, especially when you repeat yourself over and over again. You know, I have a habit of saying the same thing twice. You know, just saying the same thing twice. I don't know. I always seem to do it. Do it. I don't know what the deal is, man. Man. Really shallow over here. Oh, it's starting to get deeper. It was showing only seven feet deep. Whoa, well, there we go. There's a fish. Had to go on the edge of the, uh, the lily pads there. Finally got something to go after it. What are you? A little perch? No, good deal. A silver smallmouth, top notch. That's what we need. That's what we need. All right, top notch. Doing one more cast over here. I have a feeling we can just get a little lucky. This is where it's going to be. Me and your friend have been grinding this game in Rainbow Six Siege. Dude, that's cool. That's awesome. Master Fisherman. That should be his title. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Never fails. We could certainly fail during this stream. <laughs> I mean, the whole point of this stream was to catch diamonds, and yet here we are just trying to catch small little smallmouth. I don't know, man. You're still in the sturgeon grind right now. Now a bit into level 44. Dude, nice. Ooh, yawn attack. Yawn alert. Let's get it. 
that dude Jackson, you better be careful. People are gonna start thinking I, I I paid you to show up and start saying all this stuff. Goodness gracious, man. <laughs> I appreciate it though. Oh, thank you, Toast Plays. I was curious of your opinion towards the game. Would you say it's equivalent in depth of mechanics to Fishing Planet? Would you say it's like traditional fishing sim or more arcadey? I would say it's more arcadey, yeah. But it's fun, you know, it's a fun little fishing game. I think with this next cast, unless something's chasing it like I thought. Thought I could see something coming over to it. Well, I just flipped that boy in the boat. Just flipped that boy in the boat. A little silver, nice. 12-17 score on that one. Take that, boyo. And we completed that challenge. Believe, anyway. Yeah, that's right. Oh, the kokanee salmon. All right, all right, all right. All right, how do we find the kokanee salmon? Where are these mamajamas? I want to say they're down here, right? Or over here? I haven't even gone over here. That'd be such a boring stream. <laughs> hey guys, thanks for joining the stream. Today we're gonna drive. We're just gonna drive and drive some more. And that's what we're gonna do. You've been subscribed since 30K? Wow, man, that's crazy. Well, thank you for that. That's been a while. That has been a while. Getting the old, uh, the voyage. What is this sound I'm hearing? Whoa, it's up here. What you doing up here? Oh my goodness. It was hiding above us. All right, the kokanee in the river. In the river? What do you mean in the river? In here? This river? What river? Well, there's lots of rivers in here. They got this one up here, this one over here, yeah, over here, here. Which river are you talking about, Gage? Ashton changed names for you. Oh, neat, Warhawk. Well, glad to have you. Yay, dude Jackson says. Yay, indeed. Are they in this, this river? Let's find out, I guess. Maybe they are. There's always stuff making noise around here. I don't even know if I have the lures for, uh, for, uh, let's see, kokanee salmon, spinner spoon crankbait. And we need, for a diamond kokanee, we need, uh, size four or size five. I don't even know if I have that. <laughs> we have a size seven spinner. So that's probably not gonna do. But maybe we need to go buy a size five. Oh, some marshy stuff we're going through right now. Louisiana. Yeah, well, I was fishing a few months ago because I wasted a lot of money twice and tried to fish for tarpon at Everglades, but I'm thinking about starting to play it again tomorrow. I would, man, I would. Don't give up on it. What'd you do with your hair from yesterday? Cut it off, man. You know how the wife is. What the wife says, you gotta do. She said, it's coming off. I said, fine. Fine. Why don't you cut my heart out with it no well you better hurry the heck up because we're trying to do this and you're taken for freaking ever you inspire me i inspire you there's something swimming over to it i see him oh he's got it okay Woo-wee! Gotcha, homeboy. Little, little, little rainbow trout. Top notch, man. Honestly, when I walked over here, I honestly did not expect to catch any fish. I was just like, I 
don't know if we're gonna catch a fish in here or not <laughs> but but i tossed out and i just crossed my fingers and hope for the best facts has the update come out for console yet i don't believe so have you seen it come out for console i don't have a console so i'm like the worst person to ask i don't know when anything comes out for console look at you going derek i was about to message you earlier today so uh i'll have to message you after the stream or you message me that way i remember to i get caught up sometimes and i forget to uh do things that i wanted to do it's really nothing important i was just gonna pick your ear about something <laughs> Felipe, how's it going? Also haven't played in a while. Well, oh, there we go. Okay. Whoa, he's following it. Oh, I don't think he's going to get it in time, though. <gasps> no, he wasn't quick enough. You got to be quicker than that. You got to be quicker than that, boyo. Let's see if we can get him again. Did you see him? Did you see him swimming over to it? It's so funny because this stream looks like there would not be fish in it. Like it's shallow, kind of goofy looking. But then uh, all of a sudden you just see this silhouette of a fish swimming towards your uh, lure and you're like, what the heck? There are fish in here. This is crazy. Nope, nope. He, he didn't want it that time. Didn't want it that time, evidently. I saw a fish jump over here, though, so we're gonna walk. We're gonna walk. What's the biggest fish you've ever caught in real life? Oh boy. Oh boy. Do I have a. Do I have an automatic answer for that? Come on, fish. Come on. That's right. Felipe, I, I enjoy your enthusiasm. Back to the two speed. You may be thinking, two speed bow? Really? In this small river? Exactly. But I like to live life on the edge like that. It's just the way I like to live. But you know, when you've got it coming to ya, it's coming to ya. <laughs> Didn't make any sense at all. No, there's got to be something in here. Gonna go for this. So why don't you go for this? Please. Just working my way down the river. Just like, just like real life. You get a snag next time? Man, I don't think it's possible to get a snag in this game. If every real life angler could choose to have no snags like this game, I think they would. You betcha. Alligator Gar would be cool in this game, wouldn't it? I uh, I posted a picture in the, uh, the Call of the Wild partner uh, room or whatever, you know, with all the, the partners in it. I posted a picture of a mirror carp I caught. <gasps> is this a new fish? Orid trout! It's not a new fish, but it is a different trout. Not the kokanee salmon, that's for sure. Level 64. Oh, here we go. Friends. Best friends forever. Best friends forever and ever and ever. Dawson Kingslingbury. There we go. I'm thinking the kokanee are not in this river. Ben Kaminga. Guy's got cool last names. My goodness. My name's just Bo. No first name, no last name. Just Bo. It's actually my middle name. It was fun to fight. It took three of us to hold it. Whoa.
They're fun to catch. Yeah, they are fun to catch, aren't they, Toast? Took three of you to hold what? 42 pound red drum in Cocoa Beach. Hey, right on, man. I, shockingly, I'm not making this up because you said that, but I have also caught a 42 pound red drum. Um, so that's, that's crazy. You've, uh, you might have seen it in some of our uh, videos and whatnot. Or it wasn't 42 pounds. I guess if yours was 42 pounds, then that's awesome. Uh, mine was uh, 43 inches. Sorry, I got inches and pounds messed up. <laughs> I don't know how many pounds it was, honestly. Just know that it was 43 inches long. So, 42 pounds must be a pretty long red drum. Just got the Elder Gar in Fishing Plant. Been really enjoying your content like your videos. Been pretty helpful, so thank you. Hey, right on. Still a big fish. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, what, so do you remember the length on a 42-pound red drum? My goodness gracious. I can only imagine. River to the right of you. This one? All right, we don't have we don't have that area yet, so we're gonna have to drive there. We'll get there though. We'll get that kokanee salmon. Actually, before we do that, let's go back to the store. So I think we should have. We had to talk to Sophia Taylor. Unfortunately, if they had a two dollar DLC a to put a a real life customer, come in, come on in. There is nothing to come on into. You're a freaking shack. We stand outside, you dummy. If, if there was a DLC to put a strip of duct tape over Sophia Taylor's mouth, I would pay for it. Five dollars? I don't care. Just just give me the option. Anywho, let's see what we can do here. We've got... Floats, baits, hooks, lures, spinner... Where are ya? There we go. And a size five spinner. Should get us pretty close anyway. Let's do it. Let's see if we can manage it, eh? Okay. To the map. To here. We're gonna get some fast travel points today, boys. We're going on a drive. That's right. Manly driving. And if you decide to leave the live stream while we're driving, ho ho ho! Wouldn't want to be you. Man, I know you came here for fishing, but uh, are you telling me that you're going to leave while we're driving? Manly men driving? Can't believe you'd leave while we did that. Oh, that'd be just embarrassing. Plus, I'm a freaking amazing driver, so don't even worry about it, because I've never hit anything in my entire life. Hub master! Derek, you becoming another hub master? Goodness gracious. I would. And I just want to be be completely frank because I don't want people creating TikToks about this. I, this is not a, a men versus women sort of thing. Oh, women talk so much. Put some duct tape on their mouth. No, I'm not saying that, okay? That's not what I'm saying. It's specifically Sophia Taylor. I don't like her. She could be a man. She could be so, 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 so uh, Sammy, Sammy Taylor. And I'd say, Sammy Taylor, I want to put a freaking piece of duct tape over your mouth. You are the most annoying character in this entire game. I'd say it. I'm just saying. It's something about the pitch of her voice, I think. I don't know. Mickey's Reptile Adventure. Wow, that was a freaking name and a half, man. Just wanted to make sure we were going in the right way. Look at all these rocks over here. That's cool. They got a rock garden. Got an 11th in your cross country meet of 127 people? Hot oh, dang. You can turn the dialogue off. You can't turn the dialogue off for just Sophia Taylor, though. And specifically, I just want to see her with duct tape over her mouth, just going. 
and there's just like crickets in the background or something like that. Meanwhile, Mr. Warden's still over there just going off about flowers and trees and whatnot. Okie dokie. Yeah, this is okay. Yep, that's that's good. That's good. Yeah, I thought I'd make a quick stop right here just to grab a cola. Cola from the vending machine. You didn't see the vending machine, but trust me, it's there. Uh huh. Uh huh. I think we're somewhere. What's up? Ah, we missed it. Something. Oh, it's a freaking tower. Well, I don't need a tower. No one ever told me I needed a tower back in the day. Look how I turned out. Well, this Jeep's weak. Forget it. We don't even need the tower. Towers are dumb. We're doing our own thing. We're towerless. You just caught your PB bass of 3.04 pounds? Nice, dude. That's awesome. That is sweet. You changed it too many times? <laughs> I think it's fine. Way to unyield the mountain rock. You're an Emerald Lake Plateau. Why See, now he's sure going off about out. Emerald Lakes and whatnot. Much like any other outpost in the park. All right, we are getting closer to you, man. Storage lockers, a boathouse, and a garage. Look, there's pictures of salmon on this thingy up here. You're too far north. The salmon are down here. He calls you Buckaroo every seven friggin' seconds. <laughs> My first dime when he used yesterday, 10 pound largemouth. Right on, man. That's awesome. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Any opinions on how to catch bigger carp on Fishing Planet? Uh, depends on uh, where you are and what you're currently catching, I suppose. It's actually a question I was asking uh, old Andrew, one of the developers, uh, yesterday. So hopefully he comes back with something useful. <laughs> that, that I'll be able to uh, to try myself. Yeah, I, I pretty much asked him, I was like, do you know how the carp bait works in Fishing Planet? Because I am completely lost. It just seems random. Just completely random to me. And he was just like, no, I have no idea. <laughs> I didn't work on that at all. That was someone else. I was like, oh. Okay. <laughs> well, that's not helpful at all. <laughs> There's a lookout tower to the left uh, of you on that trail. Uh, we're already driving. I don't feel like I want to, like, force everyone to sit here and, and watch me climb up a tower as well. Are we even going on the right trail? Okay, I just wanted to make sure. Just felt like we were going off a long way away from the water. I wonder what's in here. There's got to be, like, trout and stuff in here, too. Getting closer. Man, I really wish someone could have caught that on video. It looked really sick from my view, and I bet someone watching it would have looked like Evil Knievel or something. Oh, it's just a couple of boulders. Just go over it, Jeep. This is nothing. Yeah. Still zero crashes, am I right? Can people keep in track? People keep in track of how many crashes we've had? We're still at zero. Pedal to the metal. All right, starting to look pretty salmon-y around here. Starting to look pretty salmon-y around here. Look at this Russian water. Absolutely Russian. And that's how you know they've invaded America. They've invaded Wyoming. This Russian water over here. They're all like, Stradzutsia, stuff like that. I think that means hello. I even said it right. What crash? Exactly right. What crash? 
two hook with red worms. Hey, right on, man. Well, we'll have to give that a try. I know some, uh, I know some spots where we could potentially get one. Did we pass the area yet? Nope. Getting close. Okay. Oh, you're out on a boat now. All right, we did it. So you went out on a boat now. All right, boys and girls and everyone else. We've got to catch six kokanee salmon. We've got pretty big, uh, big spinner on right now, but hopefully we can still catch some. Is this, is this all you're doing? You're just, you're just casting out out here? Just casting away out here into the, the deep, deep blue. Oh, casted. Well, am I in the way then? We'll just cast over here. How about that? Cast over here. Two speed, little two speed. Here we go. You use a seven spinner, do you? Okay. Well, I do have a seven spinner as well. You got another diamond salmon just now? Ah. Uh, well, now I'm two behind. Is Norway worth it? I think Norway is a pretty cool country. I suppose they're worth it to keep them on the, the planet. Yeah. I mean, if, if aliens came to me and were like, you know, oh, how about that Norway? You think we should, like, we're one to test our laser cannon. Do you think we should test it on Norway? I'd probably be like, no, I like I like those guys. They're, 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 they're pretty cool. Is this our first kokanee salmon? Nope, it's a rainbow. Top notch. Where's he going? You just trap us? Trapped us over here. He led us over here, and now he's he's ditching us. Dude, Jackson, if you only knew that that there is a lot to come in the way of uh, saltwater fishing and fishing planet, as in, I asked if they would be putting another uh, freshwater map in within the next few years or whatever, and they were like, probably not. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> yep. They got big plans, man. They got big plans. Whoa, look at this dude. Just swimming right underneath us. What the heck? What the heck? We might move in a little bit closer. I'm seeing a lot of fish splash over there by those rocks, but they're just not going for this. We skipped over that freshwater stuff. Someone said yes, they can, depending on how hard you can throw. Yeah, that's uh, that's an old uh, that's an old high school joke, eh? Where did you catch it? And what time? If you didn't mind me asking. No daily ch challenges on uh, on console. No man. I think I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move forward just a tad, just a tad, everybody. Just right here. We could also switch to... What's on this guy? Yeah, we could also switch to this. <gasps> oh no. What bait would uh, Kokanee Salmon go for? No bait! Spinner, spoon, crankbait, and jerkbait. They don't even go after bait. What a loser. Okay. Whatever. 
Oh, come on. Get over that fresh one right there. I caught in a bay with a bounty of lily pads south of your lake. <laughs> Hook to some red worms. Been away from media for a few months. How is Zangler? Has it improved any? I, I think it's probably improved a, a bit. Yeah. Oh, well, there's some. Woo! Putting up a wee bit of a fight there, my friends. Whatever the heck this thing is. It is another freaking trout. Oh, these rainbows. What can you do? What can you do? Should we cast out in the deeper water and see? Level 13, baby. We're casting out into the deeps. We're tired of this, uh, this shallow fishing, Grandpa. We're going for the deep stuff now. Cast in the middle of the river. Oh, oh yeah? Okay, well that's what we just did, so... Whoa! Oh! Oh, he's taking line. Taking line. I'm fo- I'm- I gotta- I gotta be focused during my fight. Give me a second, give me a second. I'm like Conor McGregor when it comes to, uh, fighting fish. Cooper! Thanks for the sub there, friend. Oh my goodness gracious. Hey, we should have used our stronger rod. <laughs> Hot dang, Grandpa. It's almost out to 180 there. Golly, bro. I'm thinking this thing might be a lost cause kind of fish. We'll just have to see. to say we're getting some line in on them but at the same time I don't feel like we're getting much line in on them. like it's just going to 189 and then it goes right back out to 194 This is the sort of drag I, I don't understand this game though is that you know we've been fighting this fish for what a good minute or so now minute almost two minutes or something and I have increased the drag over that time and yet he's almost he almost seems to get stronger <laughs> he, he he pulls out more and more line as time goes on even though I'm putting more drag on him and, and though we've been fighting him for a longer amount of time it's as if that's like giving him adrenaline to continue pulling more line out. I'm kind of just waiting for the line to break at this point. Yeah, it's done. It's done. Giving up. Forget that crap. Let's see. Let's try to get this rod. Get this rod ready. It's a bit stronger here. Here we go. Here we go. Do fish get tired? They do get tired. 
if they're within the realm of like what you can catch with your rod if they're close if they're not close say you're using a five pound rod and you have a 10 pound fish on in my experience the fish does not get tired whatsoever um it just continually pulls out line until you have no line left Okay, a little bit different here. Maybe. Well, we're in the 50s now. I'm back up to the 60s. <laughs> oh, pulling you up, pulling you up. Down to the 40s now. It's working! We're actually doing it! We're fighting a fish! Get below, get below the 40s. This reel looks like something my grandfather would have used back in the 70s or something. Almost in the 20s there. Still don't even know what the heck this thing is. In the teens. He's in the teens. What are you? It's going to be a lake trout. I just know it. It's a filthy lake trout. I knew it. He says second wind. Get over here, lake trout. I mean, we caught our first freaking lake trout. How about it? <laughs> 7.5 pounds is not a kokanee salmon. He's a big fish. Played fish for co because I was at the sturgeon grab, but then got back to Emerald Lake. Oh, that's a, that's a, that's a bit of a dip. Yeah, you just completely skipped um all the the pike grind and all that sort of stuff well that was our first uh lake trout anyway uh, elise what are you what are you using what for for bait are you using spinners or spoons or what what uh what i guess let's see so the kokanee salmon like spinners spoons and crankbaits what does the lake trout like Spinner spoons and crankbaits. Oh, fantastic! So we uh, we run we run a good chance of catching either, pretty much. Good deal, good deal. Well, let's throw on a size seven then. <laughs> oh God! Maybe we'll catch smaller fish. Potentially. Potato shillingly. When is your next fishing plan alive gonna be? Probably Monday, I would think. We'll just have to see. Catfishing right now, watching your live. Hey, right on, Cooper. Well, good luck, man. If you catch anything, you'll have to uh, post it in the Discord. I'd love to see. Love to see. You're yet to catch a lake trout? Well, how about? You can fish the dock. I catch so many salmon from the dock, eh? The dock, eh? Got nothing. Nothing from here. Well, we can certainly try the dock as well. Oh, we got on right at the end. Are you a salmon? You're a freaking filthy, filthy rainbow. That's fine. You on Norway? Nope. We're in America. We're in Wyoming. 
good old Wyoming. You just hooked into a flathead, did you? Pixar, it didn't happen. Pixar, it didn't happen. Diamond Lake Trout and Cutthroat today, right on. That's awesome. Your spot for salmon doesn't have any lake trout. Well, where are you, Gage? We've only been asking you for your spot for the past hour. Good God. Come on, come on, bite a little faster. Come on, come on, I want a fish on my hook. Casting out in the middle, in the very center of the river. You're talking about in real life, I know. Picks or it didn't happen. up on something and it's not putting up much of a fight with this rod and reel <laughs> what do we got what do we got let's go bada bing bada boom that's what we're after today boyos let's go if you go further down the river you'll see a a bride that is where my salmon spot is a bridge so you say down so down south before i move the boat i want to confirm this south or north i know you said move down so i want to assume south but i just want to make sure the water did look very salmony from down there South. Okay, cool. We'll, we'll move down there. It weighs 10 pounds. Well, righto. Take a picture. Oh, hello. Okay, okay. Hopefully, this is not another trout. Hey, top notch. There's number two. Number two. Number two. And it's a silver by George. All right, we're actually finally starting to catch kokanee salmon. But I guess we'll, uh, guess we'll move. We'll come back, though. We'll come back. We'll, we'll try both of them. <laughs> top show. Right on. Right on, Rone. Hopefully, I said that right. Rone. Need a diamond. I know. We do need a diamond. I mean, that's what I named our first diamond fish. We got to catch a diamond somewhere. It's actually diamond lake trout spot. Oh, really? Wow, he's Zally. Well, evidently, it's pretty good for kokanee as well, according to Elise. Now we're just moving our boat down the river like Huck Finn Jarek Lucas right on I had a friend growing up named Jarek it's an interesting name certainly remember when you hear it living in a van down by the river oh real when will you play fishing planet Monday This is where the kokanee be, eh? Right under this, this bridge, huh? So do you just fish off the bridge? Is that your plan? Or 
property. You fish from a boat? What's? Uh, it sounds fun fishing off a bridge. Let's do it. Get to see the fish and everything. Exhilarating. Exhilarating. We parked our boat perfectly. Goodbye, boat. Hope you don't float down the river. Can we even cast off this bridge? Not really a great bridge for casting, is it? Lame. Lame. Well, maybe we'll just stay in our boat. I want to get this tree first, though. This sickly tree couldn't do anything without us being here. Don't worry, tree. We're going to get you to the ER. Douglas for our beetle infestation. Comb the area and see if you can spot more. I forgot my comb. I cannot do that. <sighs> you don't think you can? Yeah, thanks. God, why didn't you force me to read faster so I couldn't have uh, ran over here like an idiot? Kid seats only five bucks. What? You hear good things of bridges? He was great when he was the dude. Go, boat, go! Did we just get our boat stuck somehow? How did you get stuck? We, we sunk our boat, evidently. Just gonna have to fish from here. You're here now, right on, Avery. Are you gonna try Hunter Call of the Wild? Am I gonna try Hunter Call of the Wild? Bro, I was Hunter Call of the Wilding when it first came out. We were like, we were like top four Hunter Call of the Wild channels back in 2019 or something like that. Look at all the kokanee salmon, they're everywhere over here. Good gravy. All right, well, let's, um, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we're, what we're going to do, what we're going to do, we're going to up, we're going to, we might catch less fish because of this, but our chances of catching a big kokanee are going to go up. So here we go. Here we go. We're going for biggins now. Sir, that's not a parking space. Um, didn't see anyone else's name on it. Don't know about that. Poor boat. Well, thank you, Cooper. Feel good about yourself. We were top-notch wilders back in the day. We were, we were top of it. Top of the class. Loving the content. Keep it up. Thanks, Nicholas. Remember those monster truck commercials? The dude yelling at you about $5 kid tickets. <gasps> Monday, Monday, Monday. Scotty. Righto, righto. Monster trucks. Beer, women, cigarettes, monster trucks. Beer. Indoor smoking. Hunting games versus fishing games. People enjoy shooting stuff. I think that's why the hunting games are usually more popular. That or uh, I think hunting is also like a harder activity to do in real life. Uh, versus fishing. You know, you can just go out to any old pond or creek or anything near you. So I assume people like hunting more, or they just find it more action-packed than fishing, but they're just bad at fishing, if you know what I mean. You don't think fishing's very action-packed, and you're not, just not very good at it. Show them how it's done. I am showing them how it's done. This is how you reel in a lure without catching a fish. Um, it's taken me many years to figure this out. Uh, to do it with, you know, the amount of effectiveness that I am able to do it. Uh, 
know, it takes takes years to, to truly uh, decipher exactly how to reel in a lure from a decent fishing spot all the way back to you without catching anything. Um, but, you know, some new people wander into it as well. You know, you'll, you'll see new guys go out there, say they don't catch fish as well, um, casting lures and stuff like that. You know, sometimes they get lucky. They do the same thing. But, uh, no, usually it takes lots of practice. And with my years of experience, I have managed to do it. So, you know, a few times here and there. But at the same time, like I said, we did we did increase our uh, our hook size, so we're only trying to attract the largest of the kokanee salmon right now. And uh, if I can move my boat, I would go closer to uh, closer to oh my god, closer to the shore. The last <gasps> we can move our boat again, yay! I just got so happy. Look at them all jumping. They're so happy. They're all like, hey, look at me. I'm a salmon. Look at me jump. Like a little, little red dolphin jumping around. Need to move your boat. Whoa, that was a good one over there. Egyptian wolf god. Hey, how's it going? There's a name I haven't seen in quite a while. You will stand in front of my boat. Will you now? Will you now? Whoa! Okay, alright. A little bit heavier, perhaps. A little bit heavier. Oh, it's a freaking, a freaking fracking rainbow. Get out of here, rainbow. We ain't even trying to talk to you. Jeez. Can't wait to farm lake trout tomorrow. Ooh, go for it. Mm. Yawning, yawning away. Yeah, I don't know, guys. We might have to stick to the number sevens. I don't think this this uh, hook chart is up to date. I don't think they know what they're talking about. At least we'll catch more fish if we use this. I didn't want to get back in the boat. You can't make me. You got the da diamond salmon, my second cast there. Whoa. What size uh, were you using a spinner or what were you using? Hello from North Georgia. Been watching that old streams while grinding the Everglades. Hey, right on. Don't judge the fish by its color. <gasps> hey, hey, I see what you're trying to do there. I'm trying to turn this into a whole fish war sort of thing. Let's get some fish, okay? I just saw a kokanee swim underneath me, so I know they're in here. They're just being choosy right now. Oh, he's gonna... He, oh my god! Do you see how close he got to it? <laughs> oh my god! He was so close! Oh, that's crazy. He tried to grab it at the last second and he missed it by just that much. Oh, it's horrible. It's horrible. Size six spinner. 
Well, what the heck? I don't have a size six. I got a size five. Size five and a size seven. Should I go back and get a size six? Is that the 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 piece I'm missing? To my diamond fishing adventure? This game is weird sometimes. It won't give you any fish. Well, I ain't got time for weird fish games. Come here, brown trout. Oh, we might, we, we might not be catching lake trout, but we're certainly catching brown trout in this location. That's for sure. Where are you splashing? I hear you splashing over here. Cast to the weeds just out of frame. Over here, to the left. Yeah, okay. Okay, I'll try it. Just for you. Got another kokanee. So that's fun. Oh my god, come on. Come on, come on. Size seven. Salmon after salmon if he casts towards these weeds over here. Alright, alright, I'm waiting. Uh, I'm waiting, man. Mm, game. Look at guys swimming underneath us right now. Hey, Velocicoaster. I'll say it once because I've said it a million times. You will find out when something comes out or whatever when when I post about it. You literally never have to ask because when you find out about it, it'll be because I tell you. That's the easiest way I can I can just tell people. Just just if you if you haven't heard that it's been out, assume that it's not out. Because you will find out about it. Because I have told you. That's... The, 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 you won't even have to ask. Because you'll know. Immediately. Whoa! Big salmon. Big salmon. He's not gonna get it, though. Get it. Oh my god, he got it. It's a freaking brown trout, though. Oh, dude. I saw that ginormous head coming towards us. And I got so excited for a second. No! That's annoying. Oh! Well, that's okay, I guess. Some people just just don't get to live the good life. We just get to live the the meh life. The life without kokanee salmon. You love Call of the Wild, and of course you get into Fishing Planet as soon as this comes out, huh? That's not bad. Fishing Planet's a good game. 
And when you get tired of one game, you can hop on over to the other one. I don't know, man. Your Kokanee Salmon spot is just a really good spot for brown trout, I guess. We've got two silver uh, rainbows over here. I keep calling them brown trout. I mean to call them rainbow trout. I'm sure a lot of you have been just catching up on this the entire time. <laughs> but I just realized that I've been calling them brown trout this entire time. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, I saw you. I saw you. Oh my god, and McWizzard, I just saw your text too. That's hilarious. You see, me and you, we were on the same wavelength there. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, I was just having a mental block for just the longest time, I guess. The last, like, 15 minutes, I've been calling him brown trout. And I never once, like, thought, like, that's not even the right color. <laughs> what, what are you, what are you going on about here? I just was in, uh, stream mode, I guess. I don't know. Well, if size seven's too small and size five's too big for a lot of these salmon, maybe that size six is the best way to go about it. Good uh, middle, middle of the track lure for these salmon or something like that. I'm seeing them swim around. They're just not going for it, man. Whoa, big fish. Are you serious? Dude, that's a big fish. He just went into like 0.6 feet of water to grab this. I, I It's got to be a ginormous rainbow. It's got to be a gold rainbow. But at the same time... <laughs> I, I just love how we came over here because this was like... Gage's like big time salmon spot and yet we have just caught we've caught a few salmon don't get me wrong gauge but we have caught a ton of rainbow trout <laughs> well did you guys see it it was just like this silhouette this like shadow silhouette swimming into the shallows and i just think it would be so amazing if this entire time we've been out here trying to catch a diamond co uh, kokanee salmon and then all of a sudden we catch a, a diamond rainbow that would just be freaking cherry on pile poop but it would be so good i would eat that cherry and be so happy you're a giant rainbow no you're a giant rainbow Trying to pull him up. This eight pound line's working. Oh, dude, I don't know. He doesn't seem that big now that we have him close to us. But he is pulling out line like we haven't had one do yet. I think he's a gold. Probably our first gold rainbow. Your mom, your mom has a giant rainbow. Your mom has a giant rainbow. I don't even know if that's supposed to be a good thing or a bad thing. Oh, you're you dirty dog. It was like 75% done. Get in the boat. Get in the boat. Ah, oh, this is a big one. This is a big one. 14.76 pounds. 8,299 score, dude. That's hilarious. That's a good size fish, man. I'd be happy with a nearly 15 pound rainbow in real life, I suppose. With the spinner, the number five spinner in about 0.6 feet of water. 
That was great. Well, time not to release that guy, I guess. And we got a level 14 because of him, because that was just a butt ton of experience. Throw it in the live well. That's right. A chunker rainbow. You guys, so don't insult me. Hey, I don't under, I, does that have anything to do with rainbows though? Are you a rainbow dr bearded dragon? Not easy, Lugus says. How's it going, fat cat? Oh, it's going quite well. Thanks for asking. Well, if there's gold rainbow in here, there's got to be a diamond, my boys. But it says that the hook size for a diamond rainbow is way at like number two and number one. I don't know if we're going to make that happen. Though, once again, I don't think this hook chart is completely correct. So, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. You want this spot now? Did you get a diamond yet? No. But who's counting? Rainbow trout are delicious and nutritious. If I were a fish and you caught me, you'd say, look at that fish shimmering in the sun. Such a rare one. Can't believe that you caught that one. I'd say, my God, that's a chug my slug fish right there. Oh, shoot dang. That is top notch. What a good fish is what I'd say. Stop slaving on Russian fishing four. Russian fishing four is a good game too, though. There's lots of good fishing games out there is the problem. But uh, fishing planet and Russian fishing four that definitely take a take a, a chunk of time to to get further in the game. That's for sure. But they are free as well, you know. To snap the map oh shoot let me um once i oh we have a fish coming in once i get this in i'll uh, i'll bring up the map a little rainbow all right this is where we are Right here. I'm gonna put a little uh little marker for uh a gold rainbow. That's what I'm gonna do. A little marker for gold rainbow. Alright, I think what I might do from here is get in the old boat again. Turn this puppy around town. Are you going to play Fishing Planet? Absolutely, Mike. We have not given up on Fishing Planet. We are going to keep playing that game. That cooked with it. Otherwise, it's too fishy tasting, if that makes sense. Oh, really? Well, you ain't ever had my fish before. You don't like Fishing Planet, you get bored? Well, uh, I don't know what to say. I mean, I do know what to say, but I don't want to hurt your feelings. <laughs> As you've heard me say before, if you think fishing is boring, you're just bad. <laughs> so, I don't, that is not a poster, but it should be. Only fish you haven't liked is perch, just two fish for me. So the thing is, I went, um, I went to, uh, uh, you know, a Sunday fish fry basically, and I wanted to try all the different fish. So I had a walleye, the cod, you know, catfish, uh, perch. And I will say, I will say, then why would the angler be fun? It wouldn't be fun. If you're bad at fishing, then any fishing game would be bad. Bad to you. 
I ain't gonna talk you into anything like that. That's just trying to teach a dog how to do cat tricks, man. Now, I ain't no cowboy, but that, that just wouldn't make any sense. Do you know when the next update for Fishing Planet is? You bet. I'd say within the next year. Either, either this year or the next year is what I would assume the next update would be. And that's a fact. I like your name as well. When I went to Romania, I caught carp in Romania. We eat the fish we catch, so we ate the carp and it tasted like mud. It tasted like mud? Gosh dang, man. You know, if you say fish tastes like mud, you don't know how to cook it. Oh, it's kind of like fishing. It's it's like if you don't think fishing's fun, you know, you're not good at it. If you if you think fish tastes like mud, then you're not good at cooking fish, you know? I don't know what to tell you. If you think the fish tastes like mud, you probably put too much mud in the recipe, you know? It's like if you put too much salt on it and it tastes salty. It's like, well, yeah, you put too much salt on it. Don't put mud in the fish when you're cooking it. Golly. Just fish the Congo, you will never get bored. Yeah, I'm waiting for them to put a Congo map in, uh, in Call of the Wild, the Angler. We just saw a kokanee jump over there. Just saw a kokanee jump over there. It will be harder to catch the salmon? Well, uh... Uh... There's a fish. He's a heavy fish. I think he's a rainbow. We are just catching, we are a rainbow magnet. There's kokanee jumping and swimming by us and all the while we're just catching kokanee or a freak, catching rainbow after rainbow. What do we got here? Johnny, Johnny Nines. Sounds like a gang member name from like the fifties. Hey, Johnny Nines. You gonna, you gonna go get those, uh, those, those pots, those hot pots? Go get those pots so we can, uh, mess with our hot rods. I don't know. That was my, that was, that was my attempt at, uh, sounding like a 50s gangster. <laughs> that was pretty bad. <laughs> what do, uh, what do guys in the 50s steal? Uh, hey. You know where I am? Yeah. Gotta go lift some of them radios, eh? Yeah, the radios that, uh, you know, they go in your car. I have no idea. It's the latest in technology. Johnny Nines is on the job. He's gonna go, he's gonna go, uh, lift some of them car radios. They just like your goatee. Who's goatee? Who's got a goatee? So we're not gonna be able to catch any salmon now, huh? Whoa, shoot. Your beard, oh, I got you. Oh, he's coming for it. This guy liked my beard. What the heck are you? You're freaking rainbow trout. God, he looked so small when he was in the water, and then he came out of the water, and he's a big old freaking chunk. All right, I was going to switch to that six up. Or six. Where are you, six? I know, they're just nice little chunks. Nice little chunk rainbows in this game. Now we sell it insurance. Smooth move, x -Lax, says Johnny Nines.
don't make sense. It just don't make sense. These are biggins. There's a fish. There's a fish. If I've ever seen a fish, I know. They're little things. They swim. They swim underwater. Those fish. And I got one. Three pounder. Three pound uh, rainbow. That's a bronze. That's a bronze, my friend. A slicer. The Shlamma Lama. Do you saltwater fish in real life? You know, from Wisconsin, saltwater fishing is pretty difficult. But I, uh, I have made it out to uh, saltwater fish from time to time. Um, I just it takes a little bit of uh, traveling. Mike. Put some weird sauce. It's probably better fried. It's it's good fried. You gotta you gotta so anything that comes out of a muddy river. You gotta soak in milk. Got a soaking milk. Everybody knows that. Everybody. Everybody should know that. I don't know. I grew up, you know, I've always grew up in Kansas, so it's it's kind of <sighs> kind of knowledge, I guess. Um, common common knowledge. Catch catfish from Muddy River in Kansas. Gotta put it, gotta put it in a bag of milk or a bucket or, you know, bowl of milk overnight or something like that. Has a mushy texture. Gosh dang it! We had the freaking kokanee right there! <laughs> Be faster, kokanee! Driving me crazy! Carp is nasty, Chug My Slug says. Chug My Slug has never had a good taste in carp, I guess. I don't know what to tell you. You know, if I made you some ice cream, you've never had ice cream, mind you. If I made you some ice cream and I switched out the uh, sugar for salt and you tried it, would you just live your life just saying, ice cream sucks. I freaking hate that stuff. It's so salty. It's gross. Everyone would think you're so stupid. Carp are one of the most widely eaten fish in the entire world. So for you to say that it doesn't taste good, you sound stupid just saying it. it, it it's eaten all over the world except for the United States because there's this huge culture of bashing on carp in the United States for some reason. So uh, it's not. If you haven't had a good taste in carp, it's because whoever made it did a bad job, and I'm sorry. They mixed up the sugar with the salt. They're just a bad chef. I, it's just facts. I don't know what to tell you. You like how I've uh, adopted this 50s uh, gang member persona and now it's become my persona? It's now me. Bo from BZ Hub is now a 50s gang member. Hey! Smooth move, X-Lax. Let's get this fish in the boat. I like that one. That was a good one. Smooth move. That sounds very 50s. For some reason. <laughs> hey, Kokini. I want to call him Kokomos. There we go. There we go, boyos. All right, how many more do we need? Oh, I just saw something moving in there. See you moving. See you moving in there. Challenges. Did we get it? Oh, did the daily challenge? The daily challenge? No, surely we did it. I think we did. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I'm so hyped. I'm hyped too. Fresh clean water means fresh clean carp. I'll tell you this, I caught it in the middle of the city in a muddy Kansas River. Was the last carp that I cooked up. So if you could experience a bad area to cook up a carp, that would be it. I mean, they didn't have any signs up that said don't eat the carp. But uh but other than that, I mean, that's that's pretty much how it was. 
It, it, it was certainly not a, a clean river by any means. Silver! There we go! Have I ever eaten shark? I have eaten shark. I haven't eaten. It's been a while though. I should uh I should make it a a thing to go get a shark. Where's the where's the closest place to fish a shark in Wisconsin? Well, you know, they, they actually do. I, I mean, they have signs up around the Milwaukee River that uh, say, don't eat the carp. And I assume it's because they're a bit of a filter feeder in a way. They're not, really. They're an insectivore. They eat insects and whatnot. But they do filter in a lot of the water and the gross stuff along the bottom that, you know, the uh, Wisconsin DNR will put up signs saying not to eat the carp. A little questionable. I've certainly seen my fair share of catfish eat a lot of crap along the bottom. It's a reason why uh, uh, bull heads are usually yellow meat and whatnot. So, seems seems a little silly to me, but whatever. Would you ever eat a shark? I, I have eaten a shark. Glad to see you cracked the code. Thanks, Hollux. You know me. If I'm out fishing for more than like half an hour, any fish that's into ranting will uh will uh, eventually find me. Just have a look at the meat, see what color it is. And no. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, 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 I thought he was gonna freaking break the line there. Do you think we caught another lake trout or do you think this is just a really big kokanee? I don't know you guys. Major pumps. Major pumps right now. I'm in a rhythm. I'm in a rhythm. Don't interrupt me, trout. Don't interrupt my rhythm of pumping this. We're about to have you under 60. Go. This is working, man. Sorry, I'm like uber focused right now versus lift focus. Whoa, he didn't like that. He swam out another 10 feet. Had him under 40 for a second there. It's gotta be a lake trout, right?
Goodness gracious, man. Wood splashing. It is a lake trout. Freaking thing, man. Just get in the boat. Get in the boat. 9.32 pound lake trout. Put up a decent fight. Goodness gracious. Look at the pretty colors on him. It's like a rainbow. It's like a rainbow. This guy's got more of a rainbow on his scales than the actual rainbow trout. James Franco, it's been a while. I I'd say so. It has been a while. Question for you. I'm doing an academy extra class, but I can't seem to catch the gold saga with the jerk bait, but I've caught two golds with match rod and they didn't count. Any suggestions? <sighs> I don't know. Don't use the match rod? Use the jerk bait? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Are you, uh, is it going down deep enough? I'm not really sure. Uh, time of day, perhaps? Thank you, thank you, Simey. I hope that's how to pronounce it. Well, we'll see if we just continue catching those guys or what. Even a nine pounder can break your line. I'm not sure how to take that. Is is line like mine and my mind with a D? And by nine pounder, is that like a like a toddler or something? Like, I don't know. Don't know what that means. You see them all around you, but nothing. Well, shoot, dang man, I don't know. Yeah, but why would a nine? I mean, so a, a toddler is gonna break your heart? I just don't get the nine pounder part of it. I'm just gonna, you caught a nine pound trout, correct. And then you said, lake trout are like women. Even a nine pounder can break your line. It doesn't it doesn't make any sense. Are you saying that even a nine pound woman can break your line? I, how many nine pound women do you know? And if they're breaking your line, like why are you fishing for them? There's just so many things that don't make sense about what you said that I don't I just don't get it. And if it's break your heart, then how is a nine pound woman breaking you heart? Are you, are you dating nine pound women? What's your, what's your thing with nine pound women, huh? Are you dating leprechauns? It was a joke, but also serious. Your joke doesn't make sense. It's like a mad hatter joke. It's like me saying, hey, you know the thing about pumpkins? You never see enough of them with a sword in their hand. It doesn't make any sense. It's just words that you've combined together. Now it's getting good. I can't leave yet. Oh God. That's uh, so the point was that it didn't make any sense. Well, be more clear about that, I guess. I don't know. Pumpkins with sco with swords would be a great skit for Halloween. You never see enough of them with swords is the problem. Need to see more. I don't know what sort of movement I need to do to get more pumpkins with swords, but uh... There's a kokanee. In the boat.
I don't know what to say, guys. We're seeing a lot of fish beneath us, but nothing. Nothing is going after this big hook. Nothing of size is going after this hook the way we want them to. How's everything going? Johnny Crowbar, it's it's going. We still have yet to catch a diamond, but we're working on it. Which game do I like better, Fishing Planet or this game? It's, it's, it's no contest. No contest. It's like asking, do you enjoy that Fisher Price plastic car that you bought your nephew or your Ford F-150? Do you, like when you really compare the plastic Fisher Price car to the Ford F-150, it's like, eh, which one do you like better though? If you like the idea of driving around and fishing with friends from the same boat, you you will like those features about Call of the Wild the Angler. Otherwise, Fishing Planet literally has an entire planet of fishing uh, areas with with lots of different fishing types. You can't even fish from the bottom in this game yet. Use hot glue for the sword. Ooh, okay. Now we're talking. Now we're thinking. They're both great games. They're both fishing games, that's for sure. Ayo, ayo, got ya. Well, we got a kokanee. It's a silver. Now we just need to catch a bigger one. Do we need to switch back to the five? I don't know what else to try. Because your room looks way different. My room looks way different. Depends on when the last time you saw me, I guess it was. Play some ready or not. Ready or not, here I come, fish. Is that what is that what you mean? Am I not up to date with current trends? Is that a TikTok thing, ready or not? Do you have any spoon baits? I'm not sure I haven't gotten that far in the game. Uh, I do have spoons. I don't have them on my person at the moment, but I certainly could go get some. Ah, okay. There's a fish. There's a fi I love how I say that after I hook up with anything as if it could be something else. Uh, oh, I thought this was a fish, but it's actually a bear. How about that? 
It's about time we caught a bear. Uh, yeah, I don't know, guys. I don't know. Just not lucking out today, I guess. I don't know. Bear in a fishing game. Who knew? Who would have guessed? Pretty decent sized bear. Got it at Costco. It's a pretty pretty good deal. I changed up my fishing areas. Got your first GF today. Whoa. What sort of advice did I give you? I usually give fishing tips. How did that help you in getting a girlfriend? Did you use some huge cut bait on a number seven hook? Number seven aught hook? Because if you did, that's just messed up. You can't do that with people. Each seems to have five or so. To, just wondered if they actually help. No, I don't believe so. Wisconsin average is heading out. All right, take care. Well, there's more trout over here. Guess that shouldn't shock us. Fishing is life. Fishing is life. Yeah, the glasses are just something fashionable. Just just some uh, just some accessorizing. You know how men, men, we like to accessorize. Bro told you to be yourself. That's the best, best tip. That goes for fishing too. People sometimes ask me, you know, should I, you know, I think I'm, I found a good area to go uh, catfishing. What, you know, how, how should I act in that area? And I usually just say, hey, be yourself. If a flathead wants to come grab your bait, they're going to do so. If you're just being yourself, don't try to be someone else. And it works with girlfriends too, I guess. So top notch. That's great. Apex connect. Do you think, um, do you think there's a limit to how many friends you can have on apex connect? Flathead or picky? Well, you know, sometimes some girls can have kind of a flathead. Guys can too. It's not a girl. It's not a girl thing only. Guys can have flatheads as well. So if you can catch flathead fish, maybe you can catch flathead girl or a guy too. Sometimes it all works out. It just takes the right spot. level we uh, unlock we unlock um, like a number four spinner bait or a frog or something like that or a popper
Love you, fly the girl. Just join the stream. What's up? Just uh I'm down at Emerald Lake for a while. Catch you later. Hanging out with the warden down to Emerald Lake, basically. Um no, we're we're uh we're 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 chatting. Doing some fishing and chatting a bunch. You just called them airheads. Love me a good airhead. I used to just, um, I used to just, you know how you get the airheads that were only like three or four inches long or whatever? I just stick the entire thing in my mouth, chew it like gum until it just turned into just sugar and then, you, then that was pretty much it. But yeah, I enjoyed it. That river looks super cool at night. I suppose it does. Pretty neat. Oh yeah, airhead candies are great. What about pixie sticks? Anyone like uh, like the pixie sticks? You ever have like the really big ones with like the plastic straw? You know, it's like three feet long or something like that. Anyone ever have one of those? Requests so they don't get full. I'm at 51 friends and can still add more. Can't receive requests now. Oh no. Then so maybe you can only add 51 people. I don't know. I don't know the rules of this game. Who do you think I am? The rule master? You love pixie sticks? And then I for dare back in high school. Now I have a love hate relationship with Pixie. Hello there. <laughs> That's horrible. Good bargain. Unless you miss it, which in this case you might, but you haven't yet. Here's what I've got. Shut up. Level 15. It looks like level 15 is like. Uh, oh, we are so close to level 15 too. Level 15, and then we get the size four. Top notch. Let's go catch a few more fish and then we'll be uh we'll be all set. We'll be all set to catch like a diamond largemouth. Oh my god, it's already 9:30. This live stream went by so fast. And I'm upset that we didn't catch a diamond, but it's going to be like freaking an hour before it's even morning in this game. So Anywho, everyone, this was fun. I uh, I played and I completely lost track of time and the oldest fish hooks ever were made of sea snail shells and thought to be about twenty three thousand years old. Pretty neat, huh? Buy something. I hate you. I hate you so much. Shut up. Um. That's exactly what I'm gonna say to her. One day when I figure out how to kill Sophia Taylor in the game, I'm gonna just hold. Hold your mouth like this, and I'm gonna go. Shh, 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 shh. And then, and then her eyes will just drift away until she dies. Um. Anywho, this was fun. I completely lost track of time. Was not paying attention how much time was going by. But uh, it's 9:30. Streams per, st stream is over. You caught a diamond largemouth once on that game. I I have as well, man. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Glad to catch stream live. Great content. Thanks, Scotty. Appreciate it, man. If I can still add more of requesting them instead of requesting me. Ah, interesting. Okay. We're having a great time. <laughs> That's right, Derek. Anywho, everyone, this was fun. I enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, like button, subscribe if you haven't, you're watching in the future. Otherwise, we'll see you on Monday for some more Fishing Planet, perhaps. Six hours difference between us. Still hope to get on the same server as you. Excellent stream as always. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Lucas diamond perch. Well, where have you been? We could have caught a diamond perch a long time ago. Anywho, take care everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. I don't have my freaking stream thing working. So we're going to have to do it manually. So let's see where it is. Do, 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 do. Here we go. Planet one family game on.